Vaughan, St. Martin passed three laws. We passed the top incomes law, we passed the, <clears throat> the one for the 12 and a half percent, and the one for the political and other um, appointed. Hmm? We were the only island of the three to pass all three. So Aruba and Curacao were the ones in arrears of having passed that law. Subsequently, to, so our law went into effect as per June, uh, July, uh, July 1st, 2020, on October 2021. That's after the whole ombudsman trajectory, etc. As you all will recall last year, um, many of the sc school boards and other entities did not implement the laws until that happened. So I'm, I'm kind of meshing the two answers. So St. Martin, after the last Council of Ministers, Kingdom Council of Ministers decision, agreed to amend this law. And we are in the process of amending said law. So we had already lived up to the obligation to pass the LNT. So we do not feel that we should be held accountable as the other islands who had never passed their law in the first place to have this as a condition to remove something totally unrelated to it. Um, that's that part of the question. Now, the fact that our laws actually um, were ratified on the 20th, I believe, October 2021, um, many school boards and other government-owned companies did not implement the law because the law was not ratified. As government, we went ahead prior to the law. As you all remember, we took a lot of licks for it. Implementing the law um, because we did not have funds at the time. The school boards had already received their subsidies and the government-owned companies that weren't in financial struggles could pay out. We could not. Um, at the end of it all, the law is in effect. We are working towards the removal of the law as well as the one for the government-owned companies and other entities. Um, and that is in process, but it's not finalized as yet. We are not in control of the operations of those areas. Just like we couldn't force them back in 2020, to cut, we cannot force them in 2022 to pay.